Hey guys, this is Jake from Geek Culture and we are back with another unboxing, this time the Elden Ring Collector's Edition. So we have it right here. Let's take a quick look at the box. Some nice art, some description about the game. But let's get right to it. The stuff that you're here for, the Collector's Edition. Just gonna put it down, manhandle this box. Oh, it's like that ah. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> I expected it to be one whole box, but apparently I'm as surprised as ever. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the first box here. Open it up. Perfect, we've got the art book here. 40 pages of beautiful Elden Ring art right here. I'm gonna take a look at a few pages so that we don't spoil anything for you guys. Very nice art here. And I expected the game looks awesome. We got a very nice Elden Ring steelbook. You might think, hey, is there a game in the steelbook? No, but we do have a copy of the PS5 version right here. Let's take a look inside. Got this, got early purchase bonus, some DLC there. And then also included is a nice card for the digital soundtrack for Elden Ring. And there you have it, that first box. It's all settled. Now we're gonna take a look at this big boy. Open up, ooh, look at that. This is, I'm gonna get the name wrong. What's the name again? Uh, Melania, Melania the Seventh. Blade of uh, Michaela. Michael lah, Michael. Michael lah. As you have seen in some of the Elden Ring trailers already. Ooh, ooh, did I break something? No? Okay, good. She's gonna appear in the game as one of the bosses. We got her severed blade over here. Quite fitting for her name. That's Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Melania the Severed. Yeah. Correct, with her severed blade here. Blade of Michaela, yeah. which is Melania the Severed. Oh, she's known as a blade. Oh, she's Millennia the Seven. Wait, how am I supposed to put this in? Yeah, Nobody yeah. knows. Yeah. Where's the box? Oh, it's really just. Okay. Correct. So she is Millennia the Seven, but also known as the Blade of Michaela. So obviously, she's a kind of major boss. character in the game. Uh, she's a boss character that you'll meet. Seen some of the trailers, you've seen her fighting with uh, General Radan. So it's technically her fault that, you know, the world is kind of screwed up at this moment. You can see it fits perfectly into the box that it comes in. Uh, so you have some nice scenes that you got here as a full diorama. So as you can see, our dear Milena the Severed. We've got a nice prosthetic arm here. Uh, we can't move it unfortunately. But if you've seen the trailers, yeah, she get her arm cut off by General Redan, but she keeps on fighting. There's some burn scars on her neck here. Uh, the scene, the base is yeah, pretty much what you can see in Elden Ring. A lot of death, a lot of mud, a lot of grime. She looks really ornate in you know, her, her armor, I guess. Now, this is probably something that you can get in the game. We're not too sure. I'm sure you will tell us in the comments. And on her back, you can see probably the sigil of uh, Michaela, I hope. <laughs> Since she is known as the Blade of Michaela, we don't know what Michaela is actually. It could be a kingdom, it could be a god, it could be somebody else, we don't know. So if you're wondering how the um, Millennia, the severed collectible statue compares to the rest of, uh, I guess, the legacy of From Software, we have a statue from the Collector's Edition from Dark Souls 2, as well as the Dark Souls 3 one. So the Warrior Knight as well as the Red Knight here. So as you can see, they're not exactly on the same scale because uh, Millennia is definitely much taller and bigger in the game, so we expect that to be in real life as well. She stands at uh, 23 centimeters tall, uh, compared to the rest, she's a little bit small. Uh, but in terms of how uh, the quality of the materials that are used in this figure, definitely looks more high-end compared to the previous ones. The base itself is a little more detailed, not just plain rocks uh, and stuff like that. Her armor, you know, her, the, the construction of her hair, her fingers, everything, the details are really, really great on this collector's edition for Elden Ring. So I would say if you're, you know, a fan of From Software games and uh, you're planning to get Elden Ring, this is a good addition to your collection. Now, we should point out that other than functioning as a great scene for your statue, there is a passage here behind on the box that houses Melania. Uh, it's probably more fantasy stuff that you guys can read uh, and see from our video. But yeah, it, it kind of foretells the Elden Ring and, and its importance to the world. And you know, 
with it being broken and you as the tarnish, it's your job to gather the pieces and claim the title of Elden Lord. So there you have it. Uh, if you're interested in more collectibles, obviously, please do check out our unboxing of the Regala in Collector's Edition for Horizon Forbidden West. But as of right now, we are focusing all our attention on Elden Ring, which is out 25th of February. Right? Tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Alright lah, tomorrow lah, yeah. If you want to learn more about the game, be sure to visit uh, geekhouture.co and read our review. We spent about 60 to 70 hours and we're still not anywhere near the end, which is astounding. This is probably why Elden Ring is one of the most highly rated games of all time. With plenty of 10s across the boards. And for us here at Geek Culture, we gave it about, I think, a 9.6. So yeah, it's definitely a great game to check out, especially if you own uh, the current gen consoles. Loading times are really fast and uh, you can get right back into the action as you die and die and die again. Until next time, this is Jake from Geek Culture and we'll see you at the next one.